I know that this show makes comedy look very, very glamorous, but sometimes you're just in a camper all day listening to Bobby Tisdale uh, break wind, and then you gotta. Oh, God! What? Oh, my God! You just said that. Wow! You just asked me to. Then you get into the city and you don't have time to walk around and get a cheesesteak, and then this guy is going, I didn't know you didn't want me to burn right in your face. Today, we're leaving New York. We're going to go to uh, um, Philly. So we're driving down to Philly now. Going to hang out in Philly a little bit. I'm not even checking into a hotel. Doing the show. Getting back on the RV. And going to Atlantic City. Oh, Atlantic City. affectionate thing where you get as homosexual as you can and then kind of back away at the last minute but knowing that were there a need for homosexuality that you would with that pal feel pressure to jump in on their dynamic and well I think what they do is beautiful hilarious work and um, I am more of a I'm more of a shy person so I like to I mean no matter whether it's men or women I usually sit back and listen and and giggle to myself and uh, then you know yeah that's my usual estilo <laughs> don't don't do it it would have been an accident if I did it Maria, Maria, for one second, pretend you're not a girl. Okay, you know. Okay? We enjoy farts. Older? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this first guy that I'm bringing up uh, to the stage is my best friend in life. <laughs> you I said he was my best friend in comedy last night, and he came out like heartbroken. My, my money in life? Jesus is my best friend in life. And he's all of yours, too, if you'll... I have some pamphlets out front. We'll talk. I, I have a lot of good news for you guys. Um, I did a, uh, 14 hours of drinking when I was, like, 23. Bars closed. We load up my backpack with beers. I live down in Long Beach. And uh, we... I mean, these two other friends, we go down to the beach, we climb up in this lifeguard station, we're up on the roof of it. The two guys I was with jumped off. Oh. It's like 20 something feet. And uh, I decided to jump, but I wasn't too sure about it, and I shouldn't have, and I didn't know how to land. Oh. And uh, I took the brunt on my, on my ass, I stood up, and walked home to my apartment, which was a couple blocks away. So I'm like trying to figure out what to do, and I'm like, what would my mom do? If if she was here, you know, like if you get a sprain or something like that, she would always put Epsom salts in the hot in a hot tub. So I fill a tub with hot water and I get in and uh, I'm paralyzed. This guy is so hilarious. I don't even need to roll his credits because we just walked down the street to go get comic books before the show, and everyone everyone in the street was like, ah! like just pointing and screaming at him. So get ready to point and scream at my best friend, Brian Posey. Brian Posey, folks. But that got me serious, like laying in a bed for three months, maybe, you know, and I was at an old folks hospital because I didn't have any insurance. 
Oh my god. It's like so not funny with the camera. <laughs> it's like the worst period of my life. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Kids, don't drink for 14 hours and jump off a lifeguard tower because your stupid friends did. Eight feet and under. The most you should jump when you've been drinking heavily. Are there kids over there? <laughs> I love playing places like this because you can actually talk about religion and other topics like that because when you play comedy clubs, you're always going to offend people. You know, you're going to lose like half your audience by taking on a topic like religion. Because inherent in religion, inherent in you believing, that means that everybody else is wrong. You know what I mean? I'd love to find out that we're all wrong, except for the crazy homeless guy walking on the street, pants full of poo, fighting a ghost. <laughs> that guy's right. It's like heaven is a chocolate train with a monkey conductor that farts lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's out of his tree what the hell is he talking about and then you die <laughs> sure enough giant chocolate train there's a chimp and overalls and a little hat he's like welcome to heaven <laughs> have a lolly trying to get in touch with anybody over there. Do you know anybody that can... I want to be on the show more, so... I've got to go to his web website, but I think you could really... Did he fart for you? No, I didn't ask him to fart for oh, me. Oh, God. He's on the job. Yeah. yeah well, he, can, he, he can't fart. It's it's like you don't go but how about Bob the farter? I mean, you totally can have a beat, man. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be known for that. <laughs> okay, you don't, want to, <laughs> yeah. you don't want to sacrifice your dignity. It, you can curse as much as you want, but if you curse, it's going to need to be bleeped. You know this is. Because you did a special for them last year. Um, they're concerned about that. that you can call great. someone a dick, but you can't use the word to refer to anatomy. Do you care? Welcome to the Comedians of Comedy. Tonight we have uh, a very special show. We have some special guests, uh, but we also have Maria Bamford, Zach Galifianakis, Brian Posehn. Give this little guy a little bit of applause. Patton Oswalt. <clears throat> Yeah! Please, that doesn't help me. You're like enjoying me the wrong way. Which, I mean, I'm glad you're enjoying me, but it's like, I have like a corn on the cob stand, and you're a guy that loves my corn on the cob, but you come in every day and just shove it in your ass. Like, I love this stuff! I'm like, I'd rather you didn't put that in your ass. But that's, I mean, I'm glad you like it. We were just backstage. We just got notes from Comedy Central. Um, they saw our show in New York last night and they were very concerned about the amount of rape jokes. And, <laughs> and which, by the way, I can make that joke because I'm not making like, ha ha, rape. I'm going, they're very concerned about the seriousness of the rape jokes. And also they said, you guys say d too much. In that, what they said is, you can say like, that guy's a dick, but you can't say d if you're referring to a penis. Although, what if a guy has a penis that's like, not like, is kind of a dick? Like it's, it's really mean and, you know, racist and isn't nice to people. So you can go like, hey, you know what that guy has in his pants? A complete dick. That's right there. Oh no, I like that guy, but that thing above his testicles is a dick. No, I know, no, no, I mean, it's a dick. It's a total dick. It hit on my girlfriend, it used my cell phone, did a bunch of long distance calls. It's a dick. It really is a dick. I mean, honestly, right, right, right. And I'm not going to censor myself. I'm working on not saying 
when when I'm in setups. But if a joke is dirty, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I, almost all my material is dirty, so. I don't know what to tell you. And sometimes, you know, like when I did my special, I had to change uh, titties to boobies. It's true, I did, and it's sad and weird. And uh, and then I had to change to homo. Uh, was like somehow less offensive, but not really. And it's weird, you know. And sometimes it's really sloppy. Like you'll change words, and then it doesn't make any sense at all. Like you're, uh, you're like, yeah, my wife loves it when I uh, fart her in her bob hole, <laughs> and then I <laughs> corn all over her back. Like the, uh, South Carolina. Uh, the Tonight Show, they edited out. They didn't want me to say prostitution. Like God played it. The the yeah. On the Tonight Show, I, I can't remember. It was well, the, you did the Tonight Show in 1950, right? Yeah. 1942. How much creepier is ejaculate than <laughs> really? Like if you were having sex with someone and then they go, oh, I'm about to, you're like awesome. But if they go, I'm about to ejaculate. <laughs> is that like a big clown note? Honky, honky. your hoo-ha with goof juice. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> they could use everything I just said. How much creepier was that than it was like, I'm just gonna inside you. Oh no, don't say that. Hoo-ha with goof juice, that's fine. <laughs> say that tonight while you're see what happens. You ready to get your hoo-ha filled with goof juice? Uh, ready to get pepper sprayed? <laughs> Here's Bobby Tisdale farting. Yay! Hi, Mommy! Hi, Mommy! Wow. <laughs> Is that fine? Is that good? Okay, good. Oh, oh Mommy. I think I did get a little dirtier near the end because I I felt more comfortable and that it was safe to be dirty because you need to find a safe space. It's really nice not to perform in a comedy club. You guys ever been to a comedy club? Like a typical comedy club? Yeah? Did it have a, an apostrophe and a backward Z spelled in bananas? <laughs> That's fun. I, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I was because comedy clubs are so vague, you know, in their advertising. I was like, well, we're gonna be having some comedy. Well, what what kind of comedy? Well, it's gonna be comedy, so it's gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be the kind of comedy I like, which is barrel chested Polynesian men who tell caustic one liners. <laughs> Not necessarily ladies drink free. <laughs> Just wish they would. Uh, they would let the comics. You, know, you call an answering machine if I'm performing one week. They'd be like, you know, cock a doodle doo. Thanks for calling the Rooster Cove, home of the ten cent to clear the trough. This week we have the hilarious comedy stabbings of Bree Buford. She'll have you laughing all the way until 2007. Next week, Pumpkin Stick and his banjo, Steve. <laughs> like who? You have no idea what's gonna go on that week. <laughs> wish they'd let me do the answering machine. Uh, hello. Uh, you've reached a former nail salon at a strip mall that seats 400. Uh, this week had the quiet, odd joke slash stories of me. Uh, I will have you saying, Well, I thought it was supposed to be Carlos Mencia. Well, it's your bachelorette party. Well, I don't, she already started. I don't know what you want. All the way into the parking lot. <laughs> Comedy Central has told us not to say certain things, and uh, I guess I can't tell you that my pussy hurts. Right from the get go, I guess I can't say that. pitch a show right now to you. 
It's just about me, and that's really sexual. And because of my beard, I think I just call it Fiddler on the Roofy. No, you don't like that one? Uh, the gentleman uh, that has brought all this together, and I, I owe him a lot. I really do, not to get too uh, uh, personal, but uh, I, I think the world of this man. Please welcome back Pat Oswald. show on cable that was about dancing girls and I decided that I wanted to, that kind of money for myself. Do you have any special techniques for giving head? Oh my goodness. Give him the business. For all those girls who don't know, all you have to do is close your eyes, go to another place, breathe enough through your nose and get to work. Do you like having your butt and, and will you return the favor? Wow, yeah, go to another Sorry. place? I haven't tried that yet. That's the best way to have sex is when you black out completely and dissociate from whatever you're doing. Yes. Just try to deny that anything is happening. <laughs> That's the most spectacular way of love making. What is happening? Oh. Well, I guess we're sleeping here tonight. This is damn like, joke. <laughs> how creepy it would be to see us at the edge of a forest, you know? Yeah. Like in the distance. Uh, yeah. Why does everyone that. have such a high tolerance for this? Well, that's what I always say. <laughs> Man, don't ask for directions. Okay. <laughs> a little, a little bigger. <laughs> a little bigger. <laughs> Maria, okay, take two. I love shoes. I want to kill myself, but I can't. Oh, can I get a fig Newton? Can I get a get a fig Newton over here? Like is just a combination of sounds and 
letters. Oh, doesn't it appear in Chaucer first? P H U Q U E. What gives it power? Well, but that's the people who ban it. The other argument of that is then then if those words lose power, then what's don't you need those words to be? Oh, I see. Maybe that they are not allowed as to expression. I don't think that's the the FCC's way of thinking at all. I think everybody went around and said. Hits, right, that, uh, right. bitch. You know what I mean? It loses it. Yeah. But then again, maybe that's the reason people should do it. Because right. they're thought of as nasty words. I don't know. Yeah, but words only have power when you use them in context. I mean, the word egg is powerful if you use it in the right context. Use egg in a sentence that's as powerful as <laughs> You don't shut your mouth, I'll crack your head like a kind of that's creepy good. about that's that. scary. And there's something threatening and eerie about yeah, that. Like, because now you're thinking of an egg crack. You're like, oh, that's, that's eerie. Excellent example. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what smells like eggs? Oh, Atlantic City. Experience their lives on the road from the comfort of your couch. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to get into this. <laughs> oh, mercy. I got <laughs> nothing. The Comedians of Comedy. New episode next Friday at 11.